G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Declan from El Ross here. Well, behind me we've got the ECX 16.5 Hybrid. It's a new range of caravans. Uh, in this video, we're gonna take you through some of its fantastic features, some of its great uh, technology that it produces, and also a walkthrough of the interior. So let's get started now. Hybrids, what are they? For us as a manufacturer, a hybrid caravan is blending the, the best use of a caravan, but also taking uh, homage to some elements of a pop-top caravan. So one of the things that we do with our hybrids is it's on a narrower platform. So you'll see behind me, a normal width caravan is usually 2200 internally wide. This van behind me is 1950 wide. So it's around about 300 mil, give or take. Uh, in terms of width, narrower than what a traditional caravan is from us. Um, and that allows you a little bit more freedom in terms of getting down tighter tracks. And also from a towing perspective, uh, it's really good as well because it's easier to see around the caravan. So that's one key element of the hybrid. All right, so uh, number two is the suspension underneath here. Standard fitment on the hybrid series is the XTF. Uh, suspension on the ECX. So that comes as a standard feature on the ECX 16.5 and other hybrid models. Item number three is the solar off-grid package. Now normally that's an option on all of our caravans. On the hybrid series it's standard. So we'll cut now to a roof shot of the solar on the roof and also the battery system as well. Number four and five together as one. We've got the water filling system as standard on the hybrid series, and we've also got the Truma combi unit um, as a standard fit in the build price as well of your van. Okay, to finalise the exterior of the caravan, there are a lot of add on options that this customer has gone for on this particular build that we want to go through with you now. Uh, so, the first and foremost is they've swapped out the boss. Uh, jockey leg for a uh, black jack trailer jack uh, as well which is an electric unit so they've uh, swapped that in uh, also they've gone from the standard toolbox to the uh, deluxe upgrade as well uh, so that's another element that the customers have, have chosen for that as well they also added in a they also added in a Weber barbecue slide as well. So we've just fitted it on there on a Weber Q slide with then a stainless steel additional slide out as well. So you can put stuff on and then we've got the Elros, uh, Elros locating tabs there for the Weber Q as well to secure it in place. So you don't need to have any, um, any other uh, tie down points on there for that. Uh, additionally, Additionally, on this side as well, they've also opted for a slide-out kitchen as well. 
So these guys just went with an induction cooktop only, and then we've got an additional slide out there as well, drawer on this side. These guys didn't want any sink because they're gonna just have a little bucket system that they're gonna manufacture themselves when they take delivery of the van. Also on this one as well, we've also fitted additional uh, tray slide here. And then also on this side as well, the customer's asked to fit his own Evercool slide out drawer fridge, which we've done. And then we additionally did another drawer above here as well. In our last video that we released on the Stealth R um, hybrid that you can check out in the link in the description of the video, uh, you would have noticed that we would have been talking about our new Gen 2 uh, Elros exterior doors. So these are a new service door hatch that we're offering now as well. They come with twin locks on most of them uh, as well and they have a double seal benefit to them as well. So we've got this exterior seal and we've got an interior um, J seal as well um, that goes, goes into the, the vehicle as well. So that helps with additional um, dust and water ingress preventions uh, there. And it, we also think that it actually um, smartens up the exterior and makes it a lot cleaner look as well. And then probably the most noticeable difference that anyone that's a fan of the channel will notice is that the exterior uh, checker plate on the side is not present on this van. And this is because we've gone for a new option uh, we're not officially releasing it yet, but if existing customers have already placed an order and they are interested in uh, switching out to this option, we really want you to contact us as soon as possible. But this is the new Raptor coat side protection that we're gonna be potentially offering. Uh, this one's gonna go out into the field and do some beta testing for us, um, just to make sure it's um, gonna meet all the standards that we expect. Um, we're quietly confident that that's gonna be the case, but. The main purpose of going to the Raptor Coat Protection, obviously it's a smoother uh, finish, but it also offers a higher level of protection whilst also offering uh, significant weight savings. And on that basis, uh, we've just been through all the slides that are actually in this van, so there's quite a lot of slides. You also remember in lots of videos that I do that I always warn customers if they're concerned about weight and you continually add slide outs here, there and everywhere, you're gonna add significant weight. So that's where this Raptor Coat protection has really come into its own and it's really saved us a lot of weight on this build. So uh, the previous Stealth fan, that weighed 2660. This being an ECX with the lighter XTF suspension and also in conjunction with some other, other um, build features inside, and also in conjunction with the uh, Raptor Coat protection, this van teared in at 2460. So it was a really, really good result. We were expecting somewhere in the low 25. So to get a result of 2460, especially with everything that was in here, uh, it was really impressive. So it just goes to show uh, that our estimates of saving anywhere between 35 and 50 kilos is, is fairly accurate on that basis. So if you do like this look and you are serious about weight savings, it's something to definitely worth consider uh, a, as an option on your build. Like I said before though, we haven't actually officially released it as an option, but if you are interested, just make sure that you contact the sales team and just say that you're interested in uh, looking at the Raptor Coat protection package. All right, so just very quickly on this side to finish up, we've got the lifestyle picnic table, uh, which is always a, a really good option uh, to add to your van because it just gives you a little bit more storage space to just put your beers and all that sort of stuff on there as well. And then finally in here, we've got uh, a pass through so you can actually pass like an air fryer. They're gonna store an air fryer on here and use it out here. Now, a lot of people are like, why isn't this, uh, up on a, as a table, yes it will be, we just haven't got around to it yet while I've got onto this video. So there'll be a couple of stringers attached here, so this will be another um, table that you can use externally on the van. But we've also got features in here, so it's got the external TV pack as well, so you can have your TV outside and plugged into the antenna and all that sort of stuff. And then we've got this boy here as well, which I'll take out and I'll quickly um, 
run through and show you that's around the back of the van. So this is also an, a new feature that we're gonna be adding to all the vans. So in the past, if you've had a, uh, a shower option, it was usually a big uh, box that we were cutting into the side of the van. We'd reduce space, especially on hybrids and all that, and as well as on the interiors, we're getting less and less room these days to fit things. This is a new product from AusJ, and it's actually an external shower, but it just plugs in via this um, little outlet here. So you, all you do is you just plug it in, squeeze it in, and then you just turn it to where you want. And then, because <laughs> the, the water pump's not on, it's uh, got no power. <laughs> but yeah, you would turn it on and it's got a click mechanism where you can hold it on for your shower or you can just um, turn it off as well. So you can just hook it up and then just use it as your shower if you want to. So after that really professional look at the uh, shower that doesn't actually produce water, uh, we've got the uh, reverse camera up the back. Uh, customers also did the bug light package on the van as well. So there's lights on the back and sides, front, as well as your normal awning side as well. Uh, they also expect a window on the back. Now, we have put a window on this van. Personally, my feelings on those sorts of things on the front and back of a van, I would never have a window on there. Uh, it's quite easy to see and we'll cut to a drone shot now of the stealth van just going down a gravel road at about 20 to 30 k's an hour and you can see the vortex that's actually being generated at the back of the van. Uh, so you've got airflow that goes over the top, you've got disturbed airflow that comes underneath the van and when you're driving along aerodynamics wise they want to meet back up so you get this low pressure system here and then you get this swirling cavitation effect and that can all transpire into potentially letting dust into your van so if you do have a van out there that has a front window and a back window and you do have considerably more dust ingress than generally what other people do it's highly likely it's due to windows or other appendages that can be letting uh, air excess air and dust into the the vehicle that's where the caravan will really come into play uh, if you do decide to have things like this on the van because it'll be forcing that it to come out of the window section there as well so just keep that in mind if you do want a window on the back yes we can do it i do not recommend it as something that i will put on my van personally That wraps up the exterior, so let's take a run through the interior now. Oh. So, as you'll see, the dominant feature is the bed area uh, up the front of the van here. So, with all the hybrids, and I just donked my head, uh, but all the hybrids here, we do single beds. Uh, the single beds are a double benefit, so it's easier for you to get the mattress in and out of these small platforms, because if you can imagine a full-size queen bed in here, um, that's gonna be a mission if you've ever got to change it. So we do single beds for that reason. And then additionally, it makes it a lot easier to actually make your bed as well. So putting sheets on, it's a lot easier to just lift up one, one mattress at a time, put your fitted sheets on, doona, and away you go, really. Uh, there's different heights that you can do this. These customers wanted these, the, the bed extra high, so you'll notice there's not as much uh, room to play with here in terms of a head height. So if you are a taller person, we can tailor the external storage doors to be a little bit lower. You just lose the features of the, in particular, the two drawer systems that they wanted in the outside for the uh, external uh, barbecue and fridge area as well. So they're all factors that we can sit down with the sales team as well and go through, but these particular customers wanted the extra height in the van, so that's the reason why this bed's so high. All right, so as we come off of the bed area, we're now into the living space. You'll notice that this is the most common layout that we will generally do on, a, on an ECX hybrid, and that's a split dining area because uh, your living space is not a predominant feature in why you would choose a hybrid. Uh, so it's a little bit more of a convenience thing uh, in terms of that. So smaller seating space 
and because of the narrow width of 1950 internally in here, we're able to bring the seating actually close together. And then you've just got your small dining table that just sits in here where you can still have conversation, you can still sit down and have your meal, but just remember that this is more of a convenience thing than something that you would use um, 90% of the time it might only be used for if it's really bad weather or you're stuck somewhere where it's just impossible to be living outside. So your predominant living is still outside in an ECX hybrid. So we've got our soft touch uh, type form bench tops here in the kitchen and living space. We've got the pass through that's just in here as well. We've got the one X uh, latches as well right the way through the van nice and easy to use uh, we've got this little pantry system here as well that the customers opted for and this one doesn't have a pull out it was just um it was too small of a space but they wanted to just get some additional storage into there so we've just done a whole heap of uh, in shelves in this one again impressive with the weight considering um, that build out there as well We've done and fitted Bushman's uh, 230 litre fridge in this one as well. So the customers did upgrade to the 230. So for a 16 and a half hybrid to have a 230 in there, that's um, that's pretty good, uh, good going uh, from the team as well to manage to fit that into the design. And then as we rock further back as well, uh, we've got a combined shower toilet that the customers have opted for here as well. And they went for a unique um, Tepford toilet. Uh, and as mentioned previously, um, we're now only fitting composting toilets to all our vans, so uh, it'll be an OGO. If you go for a, a, a combined shower toilet, there'll be an OGO composting toilet that will be fitted into those. As Naz whips around in front of himself, uh, customers also went for a combined um, gas cooktop in this one as well with a sink, just with the room that was available um, they opted for that, so it's not very much of an option that we do offer uh, in this build, but it does um, save a lot of space. And again, referring back to the hybrid model, you're not going to be in here too often. Uh, in most scenarios though, an induction cooktop would be the way to go um, for most of that sort of thing. We've got the uh, main fuse box and, and everything in the back there as well for your water, water pump, um, inverter remote. Uh, antenna for your TV section there as well and also your RCD and main fuse box for all of your 12 volt power as well that's in there and we whip around and then we've got the red arc screen that's on here as well as the Truma iNet as well which can control the combi unit and also your aircon as well uh, off the one system and that really um, wraps up um, some of the features that are inside the van. So in terms of braking, we have two different options that customers can go for as well. So we've got 12 inch electric brakes as the standard. That's the most common uh, option to go for, well, standard feature. Uh, and then we've also got the option of going to hydraulic disc brake as well. You need to keep in mind though, with hydraulic disc brake systems, is that if you're looking uh, in the aftermarket to fit an ESC system, so an electronic stability control system. There's not a lot of compatibility um, with the hydraulic systems because of their inherent nature of how they operate. So just keep that in mind that if you're someone that's interested in going for the hydraulic disc brake, that there can be certain limitations um, to that system as well. And another big question that I get quite often is maintenance and care. So. That's a really good question uh, in terms of how to look after your El Ross caravan appropriately. Now, in our options list that the sales teams send out to you, there is two packages that we have uh, in-house that are available, but you're more than welcome to do your own uh, fitment of something uh, externally after you take delivery of the van. But we do offer in-house packages that are available from a protection point of view. We've got package one, which is basically a ceramic coat protection package that we put on the van. So we'll have contractors come in, uh, they'll clean and tidy up the van, uh, make sure that there's no leftover residue or anything like that on the surface of the van. And then they'll use IGL Coatings uh, ceramic coat industrial protection package that they'll put over the entire surface. 
Uh, that's especially helpful on the um, on the checker plate surface as well as your uh, as well as your Raptor coat surface and the uh, color bond uh, EPS panel that we use as well. Uh, that'll increase the longevity and ease of maintenance and, and cleaning of the van. Uh, then there's another package that you can upgrade to additionally, which will feature all of those uh, items that I just mentioned before. But additionally, what the team will do is they'll use a SunTech uh, matte coloured protective film and they'll apply that to the front of the van uh, as, a, as a protection uh, and that'll help with stone chips and chipping and all that sort of stuff as well. Uh, so you can go for that one as an, as an additional upgrade. And then you can also coat and protect all of your acrylic windows because acrylic windows are really, really common to get uh, light scratches in them and they're very hard to get out. So if you just brush past a, a basic branch or something like that, it'll easily uh, scratch the surface of the uh, acrylic windows that are on these vans. So that's something worth considering as well. All right, so into the nitty gritty of pricing structure. So if you take a look on our website, the base list price for this unit here as an ECX 16.5 is 137.990. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, we've got some options that are on the standard ECX full width caravan that are actually built into the build price of these hybrids because most of the customers that are looking to do these hybrids uh, will want that extra off-grid capability as standard. So the XT suspension, uh, is uh, airbag suspension is standard. The off-grid package, solar package is standard. The Truma um, diesel or gas combi unit is also standard. Uh, and also the um, water filler filling system is also standard inclusion as well. So just remember that when, you, when you're starting to compare with whether you want to go for an ECX 16.5 or an ECX 16.5 hybrid. So that's why their, their entry prices are a little bit different. Uh, on that basis, this van as it's fitted with all the slide outs and all that sort of stuff, uh, and the additional options that they've fitted throughout this van. The build is closer to the mid to late 140s, uh, just for reference. Um, so yeah, so you want to make sure that you've, you've got a budget of around 150 for one of these hybrids. And then again, if you want to, if you're adding a lot of options and features, it's also worth considering our R model because a lot of those options are then uh, built in as a standard fitment to that build. Uh, and additionally to that, you've just got to be aware that the R model ends up being a, a heavier tear weight as a result of running the ATX suspension and, and all those other components as well. Uh, so that about wraps up this video. Uh, don't really have too much more for today. Uh, if you'd like to leave a comment, uh, leave some feedback on what you think about this build. And if there's anything else that I've missed in this video that you guys want some more information about, just leave a comment below and then we'll do our best on the next videos to try and bring you um, better content because that's what we're all about here is just trying to give you guys a better insight into what we do. Um, we're not trying to sell anything. It's more a case of just giving you more ammunition for when you come into here uh, to get a quote or potentially sign up for a build that you're more familiar with what products that we can offer you, the customer. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. All right, and then in terms of braking, we've obviously got two, oh, I said obviously. obviously. All right, so in terms of brakes, we've got two options that we can cater for as well for clients. So the, the base one's obviously 12 oh, Fuck, I said obviously again. G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Declan from Elros Caravans. Well, behind me, we've got the new ECX 16.5 hybrid. It's obviously a new, oh, I said obviously. I think we'll just go, we'll just go with that. All right, as we stand up, uh, obviously, a, oh, I said obviously, fuck. Oh yeah, when you're ready. And then on the exterior, oh, start again, no. Oh, fuck. They're normal on most of their van.